Hello, Wild Wings. So it is a beautiful and gorgeous Wednesday, and we are on our way to the Jersey Shower. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so we, the kid, it's on spring break. So the kids are out of school. So we are taking them to the boards, that's what we call the board walk, to go to Lucky Leo's, which is on Casino Pier, which is on C which is in Seaside Heights. And we're gonna see the beach and just have some fun times up at the Jersey Shore. So we're getting ready to go over the big bridge, which if you guys don't know, I am the author of a Christian um, suspense trilogy. It's called the, the Burning Trilogy. And then the books, um, it's based in New Jersey. I wrote this when I lived in Pennsylvania, but I know New Jersey really well. Well, two of the scenes from that book take place on the bridge that we're getting ready to go over because it made such a huge impact. And then one of the restaurants that's on the um, boardwalk, which is called Jimbo's, is in the conclusion of the trilogy and a big event takes place at Jimbo's. And it's an actual restaurant here on the Jersey Shore. Most of my family worked there um, over the summers. So these are two places uh, along with um, Midway Steakhouse. That's a big scene in the books as well. That's all taking place on the Jersey Shore. Um, these places made big impact on me as a kid. So I wrote what I knew. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're getting ready to go over the big bridge that's in the books. And I will link them down below if you guys are interested, but here we go. Here we go, over the bridge. Woohoo! So the water that you're seeing is the bay right now. We're not at the ocean. And this is called Silver Bay. This, this, and if you can see it in real life, you'd understand. I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but it puts all of these sparkles all over the water and it looks silver. And that's why they call it Silver Bay. And I talk a lot about this bay in those books. But this is the big bridge that you have to cross over to get into the Jersey Shore, Seaside Heights. And this, this particular bridge is mentioned in the book. And we're getting ready. That's where all the boats go under. And in a couple minutes, you're gonna see the sign, Welcome to Seaside Heights. But I talk about this portion right here of the bridge in my book and what it feels like to go into Seaside Heights. So here we go, here we go. It's so funny now to be an adult and drive over this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is it. I talk about this store that's up here on the right. You probably can't see it now. Well, maybe because that big symbol of the car that's in front of me but yeah here we are and then there I'm gonna try to slow down there is our sign Seaside Heights with the horse carnival horse so we're entering into the park part you can see the rides the big water park it's pretty cool down here busy 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 I think we're gonna come right up on, we are to Jimbo's, which I'm gonna show you. So Jimbo's is the red hooded building right there in front of us. That is where the finale of the book, the conclusion of the book takes place, right in that building. That is Jimbo's. Seaside Heights has a huge, huge impact on me as a child. So it's very crowded here today because it is like one of the very first days where we have like 80 degree weather. So pretty crowded down here this place gets crazy so um I need to pay attention to what I'm doing okay 
found a parking spot. This is why they call it a boardwalk because it's the boards. Oh boy. What are you playing? Wow, it's still counting? Yeah. Woo! You did awesome. I didn't solve the, 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 the message though. He solved it for me. Oh. in the book, a big portion of the book.